So please tell us your name and where are you from? My name is Alexandra and I'm from the Tri-Cities. And what is the testimony that you want to share with us today? So today I want to share um, a testimony uh, that involves my healing that God gave me. So yeah. And what was the problem that you were having? So I have been suffering from endometriosis for 10 years. It is a condition that is incurable. Um, and it's very painful. Um, pretty much it means that it affects the female reproductive system and uterine tissue grows in other places that it shouldn't, which causes a lot of pain. It can cause infertility. And um, it usually starts about um, once a month when the woman has her menstrual cycle. And when that was happening to me, every single time that would happen, I had to go straight to the hospital before the pain would get really bad because the pain was so strong that I could not think. I didn't know my name. I didn't know where I was. My legs would become literally paralyzed. I could not walk. It was so painful. And I could hide it for many, many years because it was just, you know, once a month. I'm not around everyone. And then as the years went by, the pain progressed um, to the point where this year when I actually moved over to Ellensburg, you guys know that I left for school, and the pain was every single day, all day, in pain, all of the time. Even when I would come here for church, I'd be up here, I would be in pain the entire time. And it was really hard because the pain literally stops you from doing so many things. And I had to fight through it. So, yeah. And so what was the solution that you were seeking? What the doctor um, tried to fix you with? So for the past 10 years, I have tried many different types of things uh, with the doctor. Um, all of them were our temporary things. Um, they give you temporary relief, all sorts of contraceptives to help with um, regulating the pain, um, hormone therapies, which put me through menopause and shut down my female reproductive system. So it's like, like I aged 50 years. I feel like, I literally feel like I'm an elderly woman because I cannot do anything. I've had two surgeries to remove the tissue, but the thing is it always grows back and you can only have a certain amount of surgeries before you start having scar tissue. And I actually already have scar tissue. And scar tissue is actually really rough and like tough to move, unlike your own tissue in your body, which has elasticity and moves with the rest of your body. So actually, you still have pain anyway <laughs> because of the scar tissue. So um, those are the temporary things that we tried. So what was doctor's solution for this um, condition? So the only permanent solution that is um, being offered to me is to have a hysterectomy, which is to have absolutely everything removed. So that would mean I would have no kids. And the pain, then that's the pain will go away. Yes. You can have that surgery. However, um, you will have no kids, but you won't have pain. So. And so how did you receive your healing? And you were saying this is what's happening for 10 years, right? Mm -hmm. So how did you receive your healing? I received my healing about, I think it's two weeks ago that we went to the Vancouver conference. And we were praying, it was like a mass prayer. We started to pray and immediately I had this excruciating pain to the point where I could not breathe. I took a little bit of breath in and I could not breathe and I was going to black out in front of everyone. I could feel it. And I went over to one of our leaders and I asked her to partner up with me to, to battle it and to fight against it. I was like, enough is enough. I can't keep living like this. You know, it's to the point where I can't hide it anymore. I have to get rid of it. So we prayed, and we prayed that the pain would start decreasing and going away. And I could feel the pain getting smaller and smaller to the point where it just went away. And I didn't have pain for an entire week. No pain at all. I had no pain. Um, last week, which is the second week, I had pain twice. The first time... I just, you know, I just took some medicine. Usually they give me really uh, strong narcotics because that's the only thing that will help it, and I just went to sleep. And the second time, which was actually this Friday, um, I was in class, in one of my classes, and as soon as we started class, again, that excruciating pain, I couldn't breathe, it hurt really bad, and I had to endure it for four hours because I was not going to miss school. I 
really don't like to miss school. So I, I endured it and I went through it. And as soon as I was done, I like sprinted over to my dorm and I fell on my knees and I was just praying to God and I didn't stop praying until it was gone because I knew that God had already healed me at the conference. I knew that he had already healed me that day and it was just the enemy trying to attack me and tell me that I was still sick, that I was not going to get rid of this. I had to mentally fight against it and I did not stop until that pain went away and it did and I've been fine ever since. And What is your advice for people that are facing the same um, situation where doctors um, have co come to an end of, you know, trying to cure their sickness, and um, what do you want advice for them? Well, no matter if your sickness is incurable um, or not, when doctors tell you no, God says yes, no matter what. It took 10 years for me to receive my healing. But you have to be persistent. You have to be consistent in your prayer. You have to actually get mad at the enemy. You have to, you know, you can't just be like, oh, well, you know, this is just the will of God, because that's not true. That's not his will for you. He wants you to be healed. He wants you to be happy. We are meant to be healthy. And when you receive your healing, if the enemy tries to attack you, you have to understand that you have to fight it mentally, because God has already healed you. Therefore, in your mind, you must be healed as well. Amen. Amen. We are so thankful you can give us that.